warning for just the whole video. Um, I'm filming in my room because it's raining outside and occasionally thundering and Daisy whose ear you can see right here <laughs> um, is freaking out a little bit so I'm gonna sit next to her but if she pops up during the video or you see my hand doing this it's because I am petting her and trying to keep her calm. <laughs> Hey there creepy peeps, my name is Nightmare Maven. Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell from the title, we're gonna be talking about Pearl, which comes out this weekend. Like it literally just came out. <laughs> I did put that this is gonna be spoiler free in the title and I'm standing by that only because this is a prequel and I think most people have seen X by now and if you've seen X, earlier this year you ultimately know where this is going to end up i'm not going to share details like i'm not going to tell you every little thing that happens but some of the themes i'm going to be talking about might be considered spoilery if you haven't seen x at least <laughs> okay so like i said pearl is the prequel to x which came out earlier this year and serves as an origin story of sorts to everyone's favorite unhinged old lady from the first film <laughs> Mia Goth returns as a younger Pearl who is feeling stuck on her parents' farm while her husband is overseas during the war. Wanting to be a star, Pearl does everything she can to get away from her family, resulting in murder. Lots of murder. And some dancing. <laughs> First and foremost, Mia Goth left no crumbs, nothing, not a scrap. I was absolutely transfixed by her performance like her facial expressions alone were just like I'll be thinking about the last shot of this movie for a very long time <laughs> and I love how much time the camera spent on her face like in close-up shots like without cutting away at all so you could really like you could see what was going on in her head almost like that's just how long the camera spent and how expressive her face was. I think that worked in the movie's favor to make it uh, entertaining because like I said this is a prequel and if you've seen X you already ultimately know where this movie is going to end up. I think that could have gotten boring really fast for this movie so I think they did a good job of still making it really entertaining by just basically having Pearl be this unhinged woman for 102 minutes. <laughs> That said, the themes of this movie are pretty similar to X. Like we got the same kind of like not wanting your life to pass you by, doing everything you can for that little bit of fame. All of those are still prevalent in this movie. Like we we kind of understood that because in X, Maxine and Pearl are very similar. So in that sense, you kind of get an idea of how Pearl came to be and I know people keep mentioning even I mentioned in the beginning of this video that this is an origin story of sorts. Um, I kind of don't think it is though not necessarily. The movie does spend some time on like Pearl's aggravation at her circumstances and that certainly has like added stress to her life and leads to some of the stuff she does later on in the movie. The movie also kind of lets on that there may have been something wrong with Pearl from the beginning. <laughs> or at least that's how I interpreted the movie. There's nothing confirmed or denied in the movie. I'm not considering this a spoiler. This is just my own interpretation. But I like that this didn't end up being like an exploration of what makes somebody a serial killer. Because for those of us that watch a lot of horror movies, read a lot of true crime, <laughs> I feel like we could watch something like Pearl and make a relatively sound guess as to like some of the factors that contributed to Pearl. Pearl as a character reminded me of Norman Bates a little bit though in that aspect. Like in the movie Psycho we have a, a, a few ideas as to how Norman ended up the way he ended up but the movie also doesn't waste any of our time uh, trying to like over explain that. Like, like when we meet him in the movie he's already mad. He's already he's already a little mad um, and I feel like Pearl is the same way. <laughs> and now the movie itself looked gorgeous. Fucking gorgeous. <laughs> it definitely differed from X in that respect. Like X was a little bit more like muted to get that kind of like 
old like grindhouse movie feel to it. Like the difference between X and Pearl in like just the look of the movies felt like the difference between like the beginning of The Wizard of Oz and that moment when Dorothy steps out of the house into Oz and everything is in this like really bright super saturated technicolor. Like Pearl is giving very much like Dorothy but if Dorothy wanted to get off of Auntie M's farm so badly that she just fucking murdered everybody. <laughs> I also really love the score, which was done by Tyler Bates and Tim Williams. Just want to make sure I got those names right. It, some of the, the pieces gave the movie a whimsical feel, which I think just adds to that like Wizard of Oz kind of vibe they were going for. <laughs> and it's such a fun juxtaposition to what's going on in the movie and Pearl as a character who is just completely unhinged. <laughs> Overall, there weren't any like big reveals in this movie. No huge revelations that we didn't get before in X. I just don't think the intent of this movie was to be a super deep commentary on anything. It just more felt like a fun prequel. I think if you go in with that mindset, it's, it's likely that you'll have a better time with it. Obviously everyone's entitled to their opinion on the movie, so if you still don't like it then I'm sorry. I mean, yeah, <laughs> it is what it is. But I really had a fun time watching it and I a thousand percent want to watch it over and over and over and over again. I highly recommend it. Um, if you've already seen Pearl, let me know in the comments what you thought about it. And if you go to see it this weekend, make sure you come back and share your thoughts for sure. Um, and let me know how excited we all are for Maxine. Um, if you haven't seen the teaser already, I think I think it's online now. You can look it up. Um, it also plays at the end of the credits of uh, Pearl. So if you want to stick around through the credits anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new here. Become a creepy peep today. I post two new videos every week and I do live streams and collabs and all that good stuff. Speaking of, if you're watching this on Friday night, Does This Offend You is also tonight on Emma's channel at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. So I'll either see you there or I'll see you with a new video on Monday. Uh, until then, stay strange. Bye!